We've all seen what wonders AI agents can do. In the previous few videos, I spoke about a lot of the technicalities. But the real question is, how much autonomy do you want to give AI agents versus when do you get humans into the picture? Typically, organizations allow AI agents to function in three levels of autonomy. Number one, low autonomy. This is when AI agents solve a smaller part and then humans take over to solve a bigger part of the problem. Medium level of autonomy. This is where AI agents and humans work hand in hand and do equal level of work. And then you have high level of autonomy. This is where AI agents do most of the tasks and humans interfere often quite less. And then there is human in the loop. Now, why is human in the loop important? This is important because you don't want AI agents to go berserk and do certain things that would involve large scale changes. That's why before AI agents do a particular task, getting in humans to review them and giving them the go ahead is the best way forward. Giving complete autonomy to AI agents may not always be the right thing to do because you don't know whether the outcome is gonna be correct or not. So for now, AI agents and humans have to work hand in hand with each other to solve all these complex problems. Tomorrow onwards, we're gonna look at some amazing technical terms. It could be AI use cases. It could be what AI agents can't do. If you wanna know, you gotta click that follow button and find out about it.